hi everyone welcome back to the react.js video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the probes so let's get started with the key points that we are going to cover in this video first of all what is the props then we'll take the example of props and learn how we can use the props in class component and in the function component also so now let's start so first there is a question that what is the props so props are kind of parameters or like you are using a function and you want to pass some parameters from you de uh, define the, the function and to declare the functions so in the both and you have to pass some parameters and it will use inside the function the same thing uh, let's say you have an uh, component with the nav and you want to use some parameter inside it then you can pass some uh, parameters from here and in the component the, uh, in the nav component where you write the code you can use them all right so now uh, let's understand it with the example right so first of all i'm just going to make a component so i want to make a component like nav here all right so um so i'm just going to make a one more file the source folder is the name of nav .js. And here I'm just going to use the uh, import import react from react, right? So first of all, we will learn that how we can use it inside the class component. All right. So now I'm just going to use the export default class class name same as the file name nav extends yep uh, react dot component right and here you can use the uh, render method inside the render render method we have to use the return all right and here you can just use let's say h1 tag and inside the h1 tag you can uh, write something here nav bar component all right and now you can use this component directly here uh, and the same thing we just learned in your last video also but in the last video we did not learn that how we can use uh, okay nav is not defined okay before that i have to just import here import nav from nav all right so now you can see that uh, okay so just choose this component here okay so now i just want to pass the some parameter like uh, data and in the data i just want to pass here um, let's say just pass the name all right and I want to pa uh, pass a name of uh, component like nav nav component, right? And uh, now I just want to use this data here. So how we can use? So for that, I'm just going to remove it and just use like here this dot props dot sorry this dot props dot name all right this name coming from here all right so now you can see that the nav component and if i i'm just going to some change like uh, here then it are uh, this is reflecting here also fine so uh, that's fine but now i just want to pass here some objects so how i can pass objects so for that let's say i just pass the data here and inside the data what I use simply, I just use uh, name component with the uh, nav and here you can use pass to some second parameter also like uh, user and the user you can pass the Peter, right? So now there is an error as you can, uh, okay, because uh, we didn't pass the array, then now, now you can use simply dot data dot name and let's see. Now you can see that you get the nav here and if I just use the user then you can see we got the Peter here also we misspell the Peter all right now it's fine so 
now this is we learned that how we can use it inside the uh, class component but how we can use the same thing inside the uh, functional component for that I'm just going to make it comment it out here and uh, just use here export default function nav and inside the nav I can just use like this and here I can return the same thing here right but here I cannot use this alright and prop should be passed inside the navigation alright so now you can see that Peter okay and now if you want to use something like this with uh, you can write with function C O M P O N E T component all right nice so uh, one more thing that uh, in the last uh, in the class component we must have to use uh, this dot props but here this is not important so I can even use simply here uh, super data and with super data I can just provide here super data dot data dot user right this is also going to work and I can just use the name here also right so if I just use try to use data then it will give to error right and it will told that we have the two names and blah 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 all right so we can simply use this so if you have still any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, stay with tuned with us in the next video we will learn with the state and how we can update the state and all about the states so thanks guys thanks for watching this video